a good woman is still a human being. Anybody exactly. and everybody can make a mistake. Mm -hmm. That does not mean a good woman cannot cheat because she can be put in a situation where she's not in a happy home and mm -hmm. she doesn't, maybe she doesn't feel like she has a good man. She is allowed to make the mistake into stepping outside and seeing maybe she thought the other person was a good man. But if that was a mistake and she came back to her relationship, and continue to be a good woman to that man. I don't. I feel like she maybe needed to make that mistake to mm -hmm. know. Or oh, she needs to just t taste some other. Yeah, I feel like to that doesn't. The grass I, was green. Yeah. I, to taste yeah. the grass. No, you know? no, <laughs> I don't feel like that takes grass. away from her being a good woman. Because if she is an honest woman <clears throat> and came back and said, "Well, this is what was lacking in my relationship. This is what happened." Because we do that to good guys all the time, right? We nah, would have a, a no, y'all, not me. I'm a good one. Oh. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm speaking for ladies, but I, I personally speaking have not been in that situation. But I'm saying, us women, as women, not me personally, but you know, take back men very easily after we after them because we're built different. Yeah. yeah, but and I'm just saying, and that's because we see potential. We see, we know that that's a good man, and we're not going to let that one mistake ruin our whole relationship right so i feel like it's the same case for a good woman so do you believe that once you open that door you can close it and become a good woman again or are you going to seek that void every time mm. you go through those pressures that's a good point that's a good one mm. uh okay i see your point but i don't <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> no, I <laughs> You froze a little bit. <laughs> no, yeah, good no, you see, I like, I understand the point he's trying to make, but that doesn't really, that doesn't necessarily mean that I agree with the point. Mm. Yes, I do feel like if you cheat once, that doesn't mean you're continuously a cheater. I don't mm. think that a woman who has cheated once, learned her mistake, came back to her relationship, that doesn't really mean that she's just going to keep going once the relationship. Sometimes they keep going. Especially and, that, 50, 50. and if whatever was the problem in that relationship continued, I can see that good woman now leaving because she went to go see if the grass was greener. She came back, worked it out. Mm -hmm. And now if the problem is still remaining, mm -hmm. then that's when you that's when you leave. I actually I, I really love the point that you made, Rico, about a good woman being honest, because one, you have to be honest with yourself about what's going on in your relationship. Mm -hmm. And then you got to be honest with the person with whom you're in a relationship with. Mm -hmm. Now, the problem is when you're honest and they don't adjust. So you can't expect for somebody to read your mind. You can't expect for somebody to know what's going on with you without you vocalizing it. So when you're honest with yourself and then you're honest with them by vocalizing whatever your issues are in the relationship and then they continue to be on some bullshit, like you said, they're going to get tired. They're going to be aggravated. They're going to be fed up they're not going to want to deal with you in the same way and like i think ross said like we do react we be on some you come with, you come to me with this vibe i'm giving you that vibe right back i think that women will allow it to go on for so long but then they're just like i'm done yeah. like i want the spice of life i want to see what another man feels like i want to know what it feels like to have a connection and talk on the phone with somebody and and, and have mm -hmm. somebody be affectionate mm -hmm. towards me and have somebody you know what i'm saying give me some sex like I want it like I really feel that women will put up with the bullshit for so long and then they're just done but look what we did we made an excuse we put the blame on the man no no they, no listen listen because y'all all scenario you talking about the man wasn't he didn't learn mm -hmm. from this honest woman mm -hmm. bringing it to the table I have been with a woman who openly say I love my husband he does everything for me I'm just bored in the relationship so what it, it's not just necessary that the man actually did something he it's just that no he did he's not boring. he's boring, listen, he's listen, boring. Wait, wait, wait. you know why <laughs> oh, listen it's boring that you have a man that's taking care of your, your situation or taking care of the household he's a good father and a good you have openly admit that he's a good husband to you so she's not a right? good woman that doesn't make her not a good woman it's that she's continually changing and they at a different part yes. of their relationship you know my word what's my favorite word 
Accountability. Accountability. I get that. Let's, we have to put the accountability directly on the person who's cheating because if this shoe was on the other foot in this conversation about a man, women don't want to hear about no. the woman is not doing the cooking, the woman not doing X, Y, and Z because there's been plenty of times in the comments we read people attack men. We don't have that luxury to have those reasons why we go out and cheat. However, but the context is, is she a good listen, woman? Listen, I, I started off by saying what? That does not mean that she's not a good woman. I think that we have this view thinking that good people just do the best thing or the, the perfect decision every But you have people time. out there that literally don't believe in having multiple partners and sleeping with two different people and won't yes, cheat. Yes, I, I agree. But cheating ain't just, you made, you made the point. I did. Cheating isn't just sex. Anything that you won't do in front of your man or woman is in front of their face is actually considered cheating. I talk about accountability just as much as you. So, mm -hmm. I, so I feel you on that. I think what people are saying here is that, yes, I stepped out. I did X, Y, and Z, mm -hmm. and I did it for this reason. It's not okaying what you did. Mm -hmm. It's not saying that made you do it. Mm -hmm. It's saying that all these things, the totality of these circumstances- Is what led up to it. Led up to you making a decision, mm -hmm. which we would say it's bad, mm -hmm. to step out. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not putting it on somebody else. But at the end of the day, when you are married, Mm -hmm. You're sharing a household with somebody else. You're sharing a life with somebody else. Mm -hmm. And what that other person does directly affects you. It mm -hmm. affects your mood. Mm -hmm. It affects, Everything. you know, your habits. That's it right. affects how you go to work and how you feel, how you perform at work. It affects everything. Mm -hmm. So it's not like somebody on the street just ruined your day and you went out and, 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 and cheated she. with somebody else. Mm -hmm. It's literally the person who you sleep with, mm -hmm. share a bed with, eat with every day. Like literally the person you share your life with. Mm -hmm. Their actions affected you and led you to make a decision to cheat. No, or and that is accountability. Or I, listen, that's, that's more like what, justification. That's, uh, listen, no, it's not no, justification. No, no, listen. I think whatever your husband did brought things up out of you, but it was already in you in the first no, but right. place. Listen, no, 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 no. I'm gonna make a quick point. Let's say you with a woman, right, and you're at home with her, and she's lacking, sucking your dick making you feel good the way you she normally used to do in the beginning of the relationship. And this is five years in, and all of what you love from her, stop. Now she just come home from work, put her bonnet on, and go straight to bed. She turns her back. She's not doing anything fun. Right. Now you're like, okay, you at work you see Tiffany, the secretary, and she's giving you that vibe. Then you're going to be looking towards that because you're lacking something at home.